Many people say they will never, ever, ever leave Texas, and I am one of them. <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna share with you the 10 reasons why I will never, ever leave Texas unless maybe one of these three things might happen. And I'll share those at the end, why I could possibly leave Texas, but really my intent is to never ever move. And this is why. First one, we definitely raised our kids in a bubble. I'm not shy to admit that we raised them in a bubble. It was very intentional. And now that I have two kids in college, one still at home, I'm kind of liking this bubble. <laughs> The Texas culture is definitely a part of it. And what I mean by that is a bubble is that we raised our kids in church. Uh, their best friends were from church. Uh, we put them in school. It was a Christian school, very intentional with their friends. Uh, but what I love and why I relate this to Texas, and I'm sure you can get this anywhere that you are at is we could find families with like values. And so my husband and I were very intentional with creating friendships of like values that our kids could make friends with and have similar like values as well. And so now while we were not perfect <laughs> in our parenting and we made a lot of mistakes in parenting, uh, we did get some foundational things right and our kids are wonderful adults and I could brag about them forever, but that's beside the point. But I do attribute Texas to that. When I was a kid, when I was four, my parents moved here from Minnesota, moved us to Texas, and their intent was to make a better environment for their kids from what uh, they had ra been raised in. And so that's my number one. Number two. Well, it makes sense. My family still lives here in Texas. So my parents, my brother and sister all still live here in Texas and they love it too. They say they never want to leave. My sister did move to Kansas City in her 20s and she ended up coming back here when she had her son and so she wants to raise him here as well. Um, so it just makes kind of sense that my family's here. I don't want to leave. The third reason I don't ever, ever want to move from Texas is I really do love the culture here. I, yes, we are in the Bible Belt, just to FYI, and some people moving from other states might be in a little bit of a culture shock. <laughs> but I do love the culture. I love the friendliness of the culture. Uh, yes, we also can have some judgy people here. Uh, but I would say judgy people are, are everywhere and I would rather deal with a Bible Belt judgy culture <laughs> than with a let's go against Chick-fil-A culture. So uh, to each his own, that's my what I like about Texas and it's okay if you don't like that, put that in the comments below. <laughs> The fifth thing is we do have some beauty here in Texas. Uh, the hill country is beautiful. You can kind of drive north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and find some hills. Um, and while I do miss not having mountains or an ocean real close by Dallas-Fort Worth, I do love that it's an easy two and a half hour flight to Cancun, <laughs> Cancun, Mexico. You can go just about anywhere in two to three hours from the Dallas-Fort Worth airport, same with the Houston and Austin airport. And so it's not, it's kind of centered in the middle of the country. Now I know it's south, but it's centered in the middle. So it's pretty quick flight just about everywhere, except Hawaii guys. It's gonna take a good, I wanna say eight hours to Hawaii. But around the US, for the most part, it's a quick, easy trip. Number six is I really do love what Texas stands for. I love the policies, maybe not all the policies and policies can always be improved on, but I do love how the government is run here in Texas for the most part. I know they're still working on the grid and there's plenty of things to be worked on, but what I'm comparing it to is some other states. For instance, I'm just grateful during COVID that they didn't shut my business down because making 
our livelihood is a big deal, right? And so in that regard, I really do like the Texas policies. And number eight leads into, I really love our governor. Now I know he's not gonna be in office forever and I know you can find junk in the trunk with anybody and that you can find all kinds of stories about people. <laughs> but what I like to look at is fruit. And again, going back to COVID, I loved how he responded to COVID in that he did, you know, take on the personal responsibility yet with kindness, right? We wanna be kind to others, we wanna be respectful, and yet at the same time we want to own personal responsibility. So I liked that take on it, to be kind to one another. And, um, and again, that he didn't shut our livelihood down. So the Texas economy, even though inflation is rampant and the forecast of the economy is not so hot right now, Texas is still pretty dang strong considering, um, again, if you wanna take a look across other states, Texas is doing really well. And I'm very proud of that fact. And I love our governor for that. Number nine, I love the Texas weather. Now, hear me out here. Okay, we get thunderstorms. Yes, possibility of tornado on occasion. I'm not exactly shivering in my boots. <laughs> but I, I, I don't like the cold, let's just say that. I do not like cold and I don't mind a few days, uh, three days of an ice, you know, we we're all locked in because of ice, but what, and, and I would rather have long, hot summer days than long, cold winter months. So that's my personal preference. <laughs> I do love, and I love the opportunity to go swimming and the water sports, lake, mm -hmm. I like all of those things that the Texas weather has to afford. Now, that we do get rain, we do get thunderstorms, but when they come through, like in May, I kind of enjoy the thunderstorms. I know other people don't like them, and my dog gets scared, but I just like them. They're kind of exciting to me. Maybe maybe you're like that, maybe not, uh, but I do, I like the Texas weather. What I don't like is cold, rainy days. Mm, I don't like those, but I do like warm, rainy days, like when it rains in the summer, I love that. If I do ever have to move, I pray that it is not up north because you people up north, <laughs> all y'all up north is how we say in Texas, you're superhumans. <laughs> I don't want to be shoveling snow all the time. In 10, I do love the houses that we can get here for the money. Again, inflation has is, is gone up. Housing prices have gone over the, up over the last few years. Uh, but again, comparing it to San Diego, we got to visit last year, or New York, New Jersey, or Seattle, the house prices are still fairly reasonable here in Texas. And so I love what I can get for my money, um, whether you're a first time home buyer, whether you're buying a luxury home, what you can get for your money is pretty good still. And with that, I love that I have a good sized backyard. If you prefer the country life, there's still, you know, there are many homes on acre lots, five acres. Um, or if you like the city life, you can even find backyards in the city life. So <laughs> there's still so much housing available. There's still room to build here. And um, for that reason, I really love Texas. Now listen, why would I ever leave Texas? Well, first off, I'm, I'm not talking about things out of my control, such as war or something crazy that happened, of course. But three things, three reasons I would personally move from Texas is number one, family. If my kids, all three of my kids say move to California, you better believe I'm following my kids. <laughs> I do want to have grandbabies one day and I would follow my kids if they all landed in one spot. Now, if the kids were all scattered throughout the country, I don't know what I would do in that circumstance. I do like the, the location. We've had some clients who moved here that love Dallas-Fort Worth because it's easy access to their grandkids wherever they're at. 
Um, but family would be a reason I would move is if they all moved away. And with that, we've also had clients who have moved here and they left their family behind and that they ended up wanting to sell their home here in Texas and move back to family because it does get lonely. So I would say if you are in another state and you're leaving family behind, you may consider that before moving here because if it gets very lonely, uh, I mean, yes, you can make friends here. Yes, you can be intentional, but if you are longing for those family connections, do consider that before moving to Texas because we've had a few clients who have moved back to California, back to Florida to be close to family. The second thing that could get me to move from Texas is if for some reason the policies did go all out of whack, right? <laughs> like I love the policies that we have now and I would, I would venture to guess they're not gonna change change drastically over the next few years. However, if they did and they put a shutdown on our business or our livelihood or just think, I, that could be a reason I could move. I don't see that happening, but that could be a reason that I could see myself moving. I just really love the culture and the policies here in Texas right now. And the last reason, and I don't see this happening either, but if, if affordability was just impossible to live here, then I could see how I would be in search of a new place to live if we just were struggling to make ends meet. Um, I don't see that happening for me personally because we've invested in housing and our goal is hopefully to help our children with housing, also to keep them close. <laughs> so we have a couple of rental property and um, housing is the number one expense. So if you can lock in a, a house price, I know interest rates are high right now or higher than what we would have been in the last few years. <laughs> Um, but with higher interest rates, that can always be refinanced, but locking in a purchase price, that's forever. And so with that, it would be hard for me to see, you know, pricing just going out of control for me or if, but you know, if I lost the ability to work, I mean, let's just play some hypothetical scenarios. I could see if, if moving would ease the cost of living, that could be a reason. That's what I hear from many clients is, it's just so expensive. Again, California, Seattle, certain areas of the country that they're moving to Texas for a better quality of life. I hope this video helps you out. If you're thinking about moving to Texas, you can fill out the dream home questionnaire in the link below and we'll schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you.